apologize for not stopping the Ruelas Garcia from last year in which Garcia died. We'll see if he's overly cautious. And as expected, Mike Tyson, as expected, Mike Tyson, as expected, Mike Tyson comes out fast. As soon as he hit him, he got him, he got his attention. But Mike looks like he's going to take a sign. He's so strong, it's unbelievable how much it's, how, how difficult it is to move Mike. A straight punch, which he normally doesn't throw a lot of. Let go, let go, let go. How will Holyfield respond to these early brawling tactics? A straight right hand, a quick right by Tyson. Tyson then with a left uppercut. The crowd behind Holyfield. What Evander Holyfield has to try and do is go to Mike Tyson's body. No one's ever been able to do it. It might be something different. And he's also trying to catch him coming in. That's the that's game plan, but he's getting hit awfully hard. Yeah, Mike yeah. is wearing him down, and he's let just started. Let go, let go now. Come on. Mike, step back. Step back. Easy. Gentlemen, step back. Step back. Come on. Tyson missing with that straight right. Good defensive oh, maneuver by down, Evander Holyfield down. to elude that punch. Tyson may be trying too hard to land a home run bomb here right early, and he's got to settle down into regular fighting. Holyfield with a straight right off the top of Tyson's head. Again, a good defensive maneuver. Evander looks like he's going to employ some of the strategy of Frank Bruno. And when they get close, tie him up for sure and tie him up right away. But Evander's a warrior. He will get fight. Get off that head. Get off that head. Come on, step back. Evander settling this down to more of what he wants, a sort of boxing match rather than just these big slugging. Holyfield comes back with a left hook. Holyfield with a combination to Tyson's head. You know what, and there you saw Evander Holyfield throw a nice body shot. Mike doing what he does, slipping. The punches are gonna, they're gonna collide one day, excuse me, one time a year, and it's gonna be one shot and that's it. The decibel level here is unbelievable every time Holyfield comes close. Well, Holyfield's coming close a lot. We've been wondering. Oh, a straight right hand by Tyson that landed. But Holyfield showing the chin. He's not moving Holyfield. He's not moving Holyfield back. 20 seconds remaining in round one. Evander has impressed me an awful lot this round. He's put order, he's put the kind of fight he wants. We know what Evander's done. He's kept his defense tight and he's fired back. He's gotten some respect, but he can't stand and slow with Mike for the long haul. It's just not his fight. As we head for the bell. They continue to go after the bell. All you gotta do is stay calm. Take a look at that right hand by Tyson. Right on the button. You know, we're going to take a look at that because he makes a nice slip. Oh, if he comes out with the jab and he slips to the side. Oh, actually, we got there. We got a little different shot. That was a left hook and a right hand over the top. Yeah, it was the same thing. It was a right hand after the after the shot. But the thing about Evander is he kept his head. He wasn't hurt at all. And he landed some good shots. That's what we wanted to see. No intimidation factor here whatsoever. The Tyson mistake not having any hold on Evander Holyfield. Round number two. Holyfield connected several times in round one. But Tyson was able to duck under a number of others. Evander is fighting the fight, but what he's doing is kind of smart. He's trying to smother Mike by actually getting too close to him, a la Buster Mathis, and, he, and hold on once he gets inside. That's where Mike's head is most dangerous. Mathis lasted until the third round. A wild swing and a miss by Tyson. Holyfield's corner yelling at him to bust him up. Evander realizes the strength of Mike Tyson. He has no choice but to hold on every time we get close. He can't fight inside with Mike. I don't think anybody can. Holyfield kicking to the body with a right uppercut. 
vicious left hook there by Tyson, but it was warded off nicely by Holyfield. Well, we were talking about before smart boxing. When Evander makes Mike miss, he's got to make him pay. He's got to make it count, and that'll make him hesitate and throw punches. That Tyson, that is, and that's what Evander's trying to do here. Now, one thing is Tyson's not overwhelming him, as he did everybody, including Mathis. Mathis survived with a life raft around him. This guy's fighting a fight. Holyfield said he wants to get the respect of Mike Tyson. Holyfield also guaranteed victory. The opera's not big enough to handle these two guys. It's, it's too little and too young to handle these big, big guys. This, this fight's going to get difficult when we get to the mid rounds with all this wrestling because that wrestling is tiring. And stamina an issue as well in terms of Holyfield. That left hook missed by Holyfield. He spins Tyson around. Tyson against the ropes. I'll tell you what, the crowd thought that Mike was hurt. This Mike was a good shot. A combination by Holyfield to the head of Tyson. Look out, look out. Let go, let go. Let go of Break, step back, step back, step back. Evander Holyfield showing you what kind of heart and what kind of competitor he is. Tyson is being oh, fought it, work, tonight. Work, work, work. This right, break, don't is punch, a fight don't between two Stay champions. Let him go, Mike. Let him go. Let him go, Evander. Let him go. Come Tyson on, go, was the on. one clinging to Holyfield. Mitch Halpert had to break them apart again. Wild miss by Tyson. Good defensive tactics here by Holyfield at the outset. Come on, work. Quick, step back, step back, Evander. I want you to step back easy. Come on, step back. Again, something unusual. Oh, a straight left hand by Holyfield. It's been Tyson holding on. And break, again. Break, break, break. Come on. I'll tell you what, a lot of people, including myself, didn't think Holyfield could slug him like this. As you come in, you hesitate. You have to do everything instantaneous. The second you see the opening, you got to pop. Combination. Not one punch, not two punches. Here we'll see a big miss by Mikey. You know, he likes to load up. He'll bend down, he'll spring there, and he'll fire a big shot. There's a big right hand over the top. And Evander's got to make him pay when he makes a miss like that. Later, Holyfield comes back. And this is a surprise that drew a roar because he's working on Tyson. Watch the time that he hits him. That's a straight shot. That's landed very well. That, that miss there. The point is that Tyson is on the defensive against the ropes. An unusual position for him. Round three. See, Evander comes right into those right hands and then holds on. He does not want to fight on the inside of Mike Tyson. It's a smart move. Now he's fighting a very smart fight. He's... Holyfield also showing more hand speed. Don't push, don't push, stop, he is holding stop, on to Mike Tyson like nothing I've ever seen. He's not letting go. I vice grip. And unleashing right uppercuts in the process while, while he's doing it he's punching yes i mean he's look at look at that he's he's using the time inside we're the punch we're, 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 and you watch we're, we're, what evander does too mike throws the right hand evander back. takes it rolls with it and fires the right uppercut back here's the online scoring holyfield two zip according to the fans actually mine is one and one oh, come on, yeah come on, I, work. I had to give the work. first round even i just thought that was so back. close and i think one back. even and then one for evander holyfield Come here, come here, oh. come here. When I say break, you step back. Do you understand me? I'm not messing around here. Come on. Let's Mitch go. Come on. Halper taking charge. Holyfield break, doing uh, some on, damage when he's holding and hitting where Halper cannot see it, so he's getting away with it. I'll tell you what, this is going to be a long fight like this. Uh, you know, it's, it's just going to be long. Holding every time they get close, and they get close a lot. Because Evander's not retreating, he's not running, he's not moving. Although he is boxing right, right, and punching right, 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 back, it's going to be a long night with all this punching. Past the midway mark of round three. Not many thought it would go this far. Yours truly being one of them. Mike is not overwhelming him like he did everybody else. Everybody else fell back. A warning, a warning to Tyson for hitting on the break. 
You know what I told people? I said, finally, to me, doesn't represent finally the postponement, but finally someone's going to fight and make back. And I remember very clearly back in 91, it was the tail end of my honeymoon in November 8th. I flew in to see the fight. It didn't happen. Good exchange here. Holyfield pouring in just above us. Holyfield has legitimized this fight. He's made it a championship fight, and Tyson's not overwhelming anybody. He finds himself. He's back to where he was. He's got a fight to win a fight. Well, if he gets through the third round, it'll be longer than any of the previous four since Tyson's release from prison. Well, he doesn't look like he's doing anything to overwhelm Holyfield. His strength is going to be a factor here, too. Though. We get a little later. This will be a real attrition battle. Holyfield just won't let Tyson unleash as he hangs on to him on the inside. That's years of ring experience. That's smart. That's very smart. We approach the final 10 seconds of round number three. As Holyfield looks to counter punch off the swinging miss by Tyson. And Bobby, that's what you were talking about. Holyfield's got to take advantage of that. Tyson corner, but you did hear Jay Bright echo our thoughts that saying Holyfield's looking to counter off your miss. We'll see what happens here, round four. It's the longest it's gone since right, go Tyson's go released go from go prison. This outdoes the previous four fights in terms of time. Mike's got to find a way to rip the uppercuts down up the middle from on the inside. He's not getting to Evander cleanly. The straight right hand over the top's not working. He's got to get up the middle shots in. And Evander is outspeeding him on these exchanges. He's initiating it. He's getting two or three punches, and he's tying them up. That's points, folks. That's points. Go hold, go hold, go hold, go hold, go hold. All right, break, step back. The holding continues. If they know if you'll guarantee to win, that might be the most outrageous guarantee since Joe Namath in Super Bowl three. But I'll tell you, he is coming to fight. A lot of people thought Tyson taking Holyfield too lightly. Tyson looking very frustrated now. Ooh. Holyfield coming on. A right uppercut. Counter punch combination by Tyson. But Holyfield getting the better of that duel. Notice what Holyfield's doing. He's trying to push Mike back so Mike can't get the forward leverage and momentum. Genius. That left hook by Tyson was blocked by Holyfield's let go, let go, let go, shoulder. Great, don't punch. Let him out, let him out. Holyfield walking Tyson backwards into the ropes. Holyfield it, it is not letting Tyson do any of the bullying. He's doing all of it. I bullying. think Holyfield's a lot stronger than Tyson anticipated. It's experience, the size, punch, the punch, ring punch, smart. Punch, what we're looking at is a champion that's had a lot of experience, and you're looking at it right here. That's Overall strength is going to be a big factor with this type of fight, too. Evander can't keep wrestling with Mike all day and still be effective enough and strong enough late, later on. Tyson unleashing a flurry there, but it did not seem to phase Holyfield, and you wonder that how, how that works on the mind of Tyson. I tell you, somebody in the corner better start telling him that he's losing rounds, and they're going to be hard to make up if this keeps on going. Break, 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 break. Don't punch, don't punch. He may not be able to pull this out with a knockout. Then it's going to be very interesting. Wild left hook by Mike Tyson. See, as soon as their bodies touch, Mike lands a punch or it's blocked. Evander grabs and holds on. It's a smart move. Will it pay off? I don't know. Will the judges see that badly, or will they get, let him have some in the round? Good combination, fast, out-slick him. But back comes Tyson with a hard punch. 
And on the inside work by Tyson, the uppercuts as they hold. Final 10 seconds of round four. Mike's only getting one shot in. That's what I want you to do. I want you to get inside, work the body. Five, five, one. Five, five, one. Get a rhythm to what you're doing. We need it. Work inside. I want you to work inside and drive the shots in. Don't hold him back here. When you're inside and he's leaning forward, threes and fours. Bend your knees and snap it up. Just snap it up and don't let him rest. You got it where you want him now, okay? You got it where you want him. Just keep wearing it now. Just like a pro. Just like a pro. Short shot. Threes and fours. Get under him. As he's leaning on you, get bend your knees. Bang! Try that shot up. Come on, Mike. Use what you got. Short shot. Keep your hands up, all right? Bang! 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 Round number five. Jay Bright says to Tyson, work the body. Work inside. Holyfield isn't letting Tyson hit him in combinations. Quickly tying him up as he comes in. Straight left hand there by... By Tyson, but a glancing blow. Back comes Holyfield. I think Tyson's got to get back into his rhythm again. You'll see that he's, he is still bobbing and weaving stop with stop his stop head, stop but he's not stop using stop the jab stop coming stop in behind it. He's looking to get in with big shots, hooks, and uppercuts. He, Amanda Holyfield is disorganizing Tyson. He's keeping him out of his attack. That hurt. There's a right, hook, right uppercut to the body and left hook to the chin. I'll tell you what, that got to bring his attention and good. Tyson unleashing uppercuts to the body, digging to the chin. It startled Holyfield. It sends him back a bit. He heard it to the body. That's what it was. He heard it to the body. Uh, if ever he has a chance, he has a chance right now. Vander's hurt. That right hand to the body will take his toll in about three more rounds, too. But that took some wind out of Vander right away. Biggest round for Mike yet. Ferocious punches here by Mike Tyson. Left uppercut that sent Holyfield backpedaling. That right hand to the body starting to take his toll on Evander. His hands are coming down, and he's not moving. And I'll tell you what, if he stands with Mike, end of the night. Well, he was imposing his order, but but Tyson's force, the force of his blows was changing everything. Short left hook by Tyson right on the nose of Evander Holyfield. Break, get back, get back. Get back, we're not. Still, Evander's taking a hell of a shot. He's taking one heck of a shot here. Holyfield's been down four times in his career in 35 professional fights. He's trying to beat a man who has lost only once in 46 fights. Mike Tyson with a straight right hand, but it wasn't flush on the face of Holyfield. Mike has developed that punch, I bet you, specifically for this particular fight because that right hand has been vastly improved since his past Three or four performances. Rich Halpern calling oh, time some loose tape on the glove of Tyson. Under a minute remaining in round oh, right, five. Right, 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 right. You see Mike there trying to rip those uppercuts up the middle. He knows what he has to do. It's just a matter of getting it done and finding the timing. Well, Tyson said he's more patient and more disciplined in the ring. He's got all his anger under control in the ring. We'll see if it bears true. Well, Tyson connected with the left hook, missed with the overhand right. Now the jab of Holyfield. The defensive move by Tyson ducks under the right hook by Holyfield. Tyson. And Evander has the reach. He should use that up that jab more. Evander's punches no longer have the steam that they had at the beginning. This power stuff that he's absorbing is wearing him out. Look, Jay Bright told Tyson, work the body, and that's what takes the legs out. The power stuff is coming on now. Right, right, right. Come on. Get back, get back, get back. Come on, Mike. Come on. Four. Ten. You got to throw three or four punches at a time, baby. Off 
off the jab. Everything off the jab. When you throw the jab, you offset anything that he does. Throw the jab and straight by hand. Here you're going to see Mike Tyson, what he does. Use his leverage. You get those knees bent here. He rips this right hand here, and then he rips it up the middle. This is how, as we roll the tape, this is how he hurts his opponent. Look at that right hand. And then up underneath. Look at the leverage, the bend in his legs. It's beautiful. That's how Mike generates that tremendous power. Round number six. Round five was a good one for Tyson. The crowd a little quieter as a result. In the Holyfield corner, they detected a little nick on the side of his mouth, but they said nothing to be concerned with. But they want him to go three or four punches right, shot, punch. Come on, step off back, the step jab. Back. The corner of Evander Holyfield. Well, those are smart directions. He's got to use the jab to work his way in and then unload. When Mike Weaves Working maybe catch him with two or three, catch come him coming out of a weave, go, and you go. never know. Right, come on, break. But he's starting to get a little bit weak from the pressure and the power and the strength of Mike Tyson. I think the power started turning on, and I think he... He senses it, so he's fighting a little bit happier and a little bit stronger than he was. He looked confused because he was getting out boxed for the first four rounds. But that's a big left hook. Evander's legs not really buckled, but they caved in just a just a pinch. That was a big good left hook. Now what? Mitch Halpern again calls time. Accidental headbutt. Accidental headbutt. Who's cut? Oh, Tyson, Tyson is cut. Tyson is cut. Can't see much right now, but watch he is that head, cut. Man, watch that head. Come on. After four rounds, they'll go to the score cards on an accidental foul. Now, both wailing oh, away. Oh, what an exchange. Mike got in some very clean shots. I was surprised that Vander took them standing up so easily and came back. That cut, not looking good. About the left eye of Mike Tyson. So now a sense of urgency hey, begins punch, to develop. Punch. And madness. Hands, He's mad. Come on. Well, you know, it's an accidental headbutt, and I have Mike ahead. So if we go to the scorecards, Mike wins. But there's no closure to this fight with that kind of ending. No closure but whatsoever. Fans, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad that. enough cut for that. It's not a bad enough cut to worry about it, though, Bobby, right, right, right now. Watch, and he's watch, so mad out. that he wants to take over this fight and, and finish it. The chance of Holyfield. With the crowd sensing that Holyfield might have Tyson in trouble because of the cut. Oh, a low blow by Holyfield. That was a low blow to Mike. Holyfield oh, hit him real low. And it hurt him. Mike's face crinkled when he got hit. He grimaced. Holyfield turned on by the crowd. Less than a minute in round six. Holyfield's closing this round like a champion. Like the overachieving warrior oh, that he is. Oh, down goes Tyson. A left hook. Three, four, five, six, seven. That was a body Eight. shot. I think he was a little more balanced. Note the time, 35 seconds left for the six. Hey, Craig, let him out, let him out. Hey, Craig, Tyson down for only the second back. time in his career. Buster Douglas did it the first time. And you know what happened there? Well, this is what we came to see. How can he do? How is he going to do when he gets down? That's what we're going to see now. We are seeing Mike Tyson tested. Evander Holyfield is letting it all hang out. They can pick it up out of the bound. much but there make clash says it was very insignificant but it did it was significant in that it, there was a cut and here comes the knockdown now the knockdown is a surprise to, I think everybody it's a shot in the chest for it hit him on the left the check was a balance shot it wasn't a clean knock it was a balance shot that's what it was Bobby we go to round seven in the sixth round Holyfield put Tyson on the canvas that was the same round Holyfield knocked down Riddick Bow, but couldn't finish him off well, if, if there was anybody that's energized by that, it should be Holyfield. 
And is anybody terrified by that? It should be Tyson because he can see his whole future floating away here. How about scores, guys? I got him ahead, 58-56, Evander Holyfield. And I have to fight even. I have to fight 3-2, 1 even, but the knockdown makes it even. Mitch Halpern uh, all over Holyfield for not stepping back on the break call. Well, that was a definite 10-8 round, and that, that swings a little bit of action. They were even up to that point. There's that range that Holyfield has to stay at. That's the range. He's developed the respect, and that's the range. Online scoring. Holyfield, 5-1. to one. Holyfield. Tyson, excuse me. Tyson looks a little confused now. A little tentative. He's no longer this aggressive animal. He's a little confused by what's going on. He may be working on sheer instinct right now. This crowd continues to chant for Holyfield. The total time of Tyson's last four fights, 18 minutes, 40 seconds, and the equivalent of and, six and, rounds. And here is where corners save you or lose you. If Jay Bright and those guys don't know how to manage a corner, then he's looking at Tokyo all over again. It's Tyson. Holyfield's got a good corner and they're encouraging him. A good body shot by Tyson, but he's got to he's got to get up the middle. He's got to get that uppercut, both of them in play. Again, after the end of the fourth round, they go to the scorecards in terms of an accidental foul. And keep in mind the cut above the eye of Tyson, who just walked into a straight left by Holyfield. Just what we were talking about. The only way to beat him is as he comes in, hit him, and that's what Evander Holyfield has been doing with a superior. Uh, intelligence in this fight. Intelligence is where this is going on here. Evander's fighting the smartest fight he's ever fought. He's not standing like he did with Bo. He knows it's a different fighter, a different fight, different situation, and what needs to be done, and he's getting it done right Holyfield now. Holyfield living up to his word, not being intimidated at all by Mike Tyson. Far and from then it. Some. And then some. Far from it. He's fighting with the confidence of a man that knows he's got the guy beat. Maybe he doesn't, but he's sure fighting that way. It's like his, he's dictating the dance here. Pace is slowing severely, and I'll tell you, stop, fly, stop, fly, it's a difficult fly. type of fight when you have that all that physical grappling going on. Tyson fights at such a frantic pace, and you pointed that out. Look out now as they come together. Again, the headbutt. That one buckled. That one buckled Tyson. Tyson. I mean, Tyson actually got a headbutt and hurt. It's the second time in the fight. Uh-oh. Mitch it's Halpern Tyson. asking Tyson, are you all right? Here comes the doctor. Tyson trying to quit. Flip Pomatsky. He said, let's see the doctor. He asked to see the doctor. He says to Mitch Halpern, he's all right. He goes to the neutral corner. Now the lecture. Come on, let's go. Final seconds of round seven. This not going according okay. to plan Greg, Greg, for go Mike Tyson. Go push. Step back, Step oh back. Boy. Let go, Mike. Let go, Mike. Let go. All right. That's it. I'm not telling you again. I'm not telling you this again. I'm not warning you again. Just break us the break. A little cut, not even a quarter of an inch. Right. Now watch the legs of Tyson when they come together. Now see, they both came together. Nobody, see, see, look at that, look at that. It's almost as if he got a resounding head blow with, by, a, by a fist. Now that's No, it's even worse, too, Freddie. You'll see it again. He doesn't see it. He's had to turn to the side, and it just, you know, again, shot to the temple, shot to the head. That can shut off your spinal cord a little bit. But, oh, yeah, it tons the brain a little bit. But that wasn't Holyfield's fault. They both came in together. He's not butting. He's getting butted. Both of them are coming in together. Holyfield was using his head a little more on the ropes before, and yeah, he's bringing his head time. down, but that time was just a flash of heads. We enter round eight, scheduled for 12 for the WBA Heavyweight Championship. Okay, break, break easy. Holyfield break easy. fighting break easy. a brilliant tactical fight here against Mike Tyson. And Tyson looking more discouraged. Less like a man in command, less like right, a guy no push, no push. that's confident that he's got the key to victory. No he's now no floundering. That's the only word I can tell you. He's not establishing himself as Tyson usually does. Work, work, work. Tyson's cut man happens to be a plastic surgeon, Dr. Ira Tracking. 
He's going to need all the help he can get in there now. You know, as Mike comes rushing in, Evander ducks his head to not catch a shot with his head up in the air, and those heads are just banging. Beautiful. One into another. Left Good jab by Holyfield. That, Let him out. Let him out. That sent Tyson's head back. Evander's fighting one of those smart fights like the fighters of the 40s and the 50s, like Archie Moore and those guys who, as a charge, who knew how to tie you up as soon as he hit you and drive you crazy. That's what he's fighting. Evander has been able to do some of what I was talking about earlier, and that is sit inside the eye of the storm. He's getting inside, and that's why the banging hits. He's stepping inside Mike's big hooks and big shots. Mike's got to get the uppercuts in play. And now he's holding on to, to Tyson. And that's part of the strategy. And that gives him plenty of time to recharge his batteries because yeah, 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 notice how many break, seconds break, are going by yeah. without fighting in each round. Holyfield also doing a nice job of picking off punches. Oh, he's fighting a bright, bright, brilliant fight. He Mike is. can't throw him one at a time. Mike's got to get back into conversation combinations. He's got to get him one, two, three, four. He's got to throw punching combinations. Punches in bunches. One at a time is not going to get it done. Evander's zeroing in on a big shot. Tyson is confused, frustrated. He unleashed the flurry there, but Holyfield comes right back and counters to the head. Okay, break, 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 break. As we get into the later rounds, we now have to worry about does Evander Holyfield start to wear out as he does in all fights? If that's the case, that may be the only chance that Tyson has to pull this out. Fatigue but, has been a factor the last two fights with uh, Bo and uh, Chance. I'll yep. tell you what, all of a sudden my, my performance break, break, is looking a little better and better to me based on a comparison of the way he dealt guy, with all the rest of the heavyweights. The guy that's tired here is Tyson. The guy that looks worn is Tyson, not Holyfield. Holyfield's looking chipper and good. So what we have here is a reversal of form because let me tell you, let me, let me say this clearly. He has not had but four nothing fights and he is not ready to fight the 12 real hard. It may be a reversal of fortune if Holyfield continues to have his way. Hey, when you come in after a long retirement fight as Ali did with Frazier, it was a different Ali. This is a different Tyson now. A different Tyson. That's what we wanted to see. Well, we're getting the bad news. Well, we proposed that question at the outset. Did those four previous fights since prison prepare Holyfield properly or Tyson properly for Holyfield? And we're seeing the results as the crowd takes Holyfield. Stay nice and calm. You have to work that body. You have to work that body. That's what you have to do all along. You've got to start doing it. You've got to start working that body. You've got to start going to the body like I'm telling you. Combination from the body up the center to the head, baby. Okay? Here's the smart, smart Evander Holyfield getting through the defense. He, he comes down, look at that, right through. I mean, when's the last time you saw Tyson getting smashed that clearly? He, that's great boxing on the part of Evander Holyfield. I'm sorry, guys, but he's out boxing. I'm actually not sorry. That's the way it goes. This is going against just about everybody's thoughts and views going to this fight. I think they pulled about 40 riders across the country. One guy right, back, picked he's Holyfield. He's it was Ron Borges of the Boston back. Globe. Yeah, he's sitting right behind us laughing right now. He predicted a Holyfield win. Round nine. Back, back, back. On, I'll tell you what, four you rounds, there's not fight as far from over. With the explosive power of anybody in the weight division, especially Mike Tyson, anything could happen here. It is still long from done. Absolutely. With Mike Tyson, it only takes right, one right, punch. Right, no punch. No punch. Back. Just take a step back. Come on. And we sit here and wait, wait for Evander to show those signs of fatigue that he did in all the other fights. He's not showing it. He's you know why, Ferdy, what he's doing is he's grabbing Mike and he's getting a rest when he wants to. He's, he's not being forced to work. He's getting a good rest. Unfortunately, when I fought him, I let him work by throwing punches on my head too often, and he got a little tired. Tyson may have to put something on his gloves. Well, Ty Holyfield has always known in the past what tools to bring to a fight. And he's proving it again here. Look at this toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Toe-to-toe -to -toe action that was won by Holyfield. Mike resets. He must be wondering what have I got to do to get this guy. It's a nice right hand by Mike, but he's not falling. 
See, Vayner's ducking, and he's trying to parry off that shot. He blocks Mike's shot and then fires back. He rock and rolls with his right hand. There you see him again trying to rock and roll. Mike's got to throw the second and third punch in combination. Well, this is a real scorcher, a heavyweight fight for the first time in a long time. He won't feel the chance from the crowd again. What were the odds on a draw? I don't think he. Great, great, great. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Holyfield started out a 25 to 1 underdog, got it down to 6 to 1 just prior to the fight. Did someone know something Somebody we didn't right, right, do right, something? Right, 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 right. Less well, than a minute remaining, round that, nine. This is what makes this sport so great. You can't really handicap it. Oh, both unleashing at the same time, but both glancing blows. All right, no punch, no punch, no punch. Ooh. Oh, straight right hand by Evander Holyfield. That shook Tyson momentarily. He got Mike's attention. Mike's firing back, and now the slugfest ensues. That's not Evander's fight, but he's winning some of those combinations very well. You know, it's gotten to the point where I'm not sure that that's not his fight because Evander, Evander is landing the harder punches, and Tyson is wearing himself out, missing. He's making the puncher's mistake. He's abandoning any kind of boxing and trying to land that one big shot. And that's a puncher's mistake. You lose rounds, 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 and hope to get that knockout. Holyfield has just right, taken right, Tyson right, completely right, out of his game. Take a deep breath, let it out slow. Come on, take a deep one, Spartan. Lean forward, lean forward. Grab that shoulder, Pete. Grab that shoulder. Okay, breathe, baby. You got three more rounds. Baby. Breathe. Hey. Three more rounds. No matter how you feel, feel he feels worse. Okay. Not about how you feel anyway. Put some heat on that jab now, okay? Put some heat on it, boss. You got it, and you go to the well, baby. Okay. Okay. Don't okay. focus on how you feel. It's combination now. You got to go to work, Mike. You need this round big, all right? Okay? That's fine, Mike. That's fine. Mike. That's fine. You must work his body. You're letting him off the hook every time he makes it. Five, five, one. Work his body. Mike Tyson down in the sixth round, and Evander Holyfield looking to dig deep, deep, deep down it as well because he looks tired. It is round ten. Now Mike is getting to that little level where he might need a knockout. I don't know what the judges are looking at. I don't know how much they give a favorite uh, immortal like fighter like Tyson's becoming. But I have him ahead by so much. I have Vendor ahead by so much that it's getting to the point where he either he gets a knockout or he's going to win this fight. A right hook followed by a left by Holyfield and countering with a combination is Mike Tyson. That left hook which is usually lethal being guarded beautifully by Holyfield. I don't have an insurmountable lead for right now for Holyfield, but he always has put together a string in the past three rounds that's just been incredible. And Mike is slowing. Mike maybe underestimated Michael uh, Holyfield a little bit, didn't train quite the same intensity levels. Are you Who keeping, knows? Are you keeping it by points? How many points have you got him ahead? Two. See, I've got him ahead by three. And, uh, meaning that if you bought one every round, if you could only get a draw. That could have been dangerous. Holyfield able to recover, maintain his balance after. Looking awkward and vulnerable. Less than three rounds to go. It could go down to these on the judges' scorecards. Tyson missing and Holyfield countering with a right uppercut. Now, there's nothing on those punches by Evander. He's either got clipped and, and not uh, and felt it or just getting really tired. The stamina of Cobb is beginning to kick in as far as Holyfield is concerned and the frantic pace of this fight and the punishment that Tyson has has right, been administered by Holyfield is taking his toll on him. No, let go, let but, go. but then again, Holyfield, I mean, Holyfield may look tired, but Tyson doesn't look like a ball of energy either. But also remember the heart of Evander Holyfield. It looks like that heart of Holyfield is is ticking pretty well right now. I should do a Timex commercial any day now. There must be a, a whole phalanx of, of cardiacs. A straight right hand by Mike Tyson that caught Holyfield on the jaw. That really connected. Holyfield comes back with the jab. 
Missing over the top okay, with a right hook back, is Holyfield. Back, come on. We approach 30 seconds remaining in round 10. Who thought it would go this far? Almost nobody. First real signs of weariness on Holyfield. First real signs. Oh, a straight right combination by Holyfield. Holyfield looking to air it out. Holyfield's unloading and he's taking a shot. He's going for it. Oh, Tyson's in trouble. Holyfield smothers Tyson. Looking to put Tyson down and end the fight. Tyson is not in trouble. He's saved by the bell. Mike is out on his feet. take a look just when it looked like he was getting tired he gets fired up and here comes that champion's heart it's a series of punches some of which missed but most were landing and they were landing with accuracy as you can see that one at a time you can see that's the one that did it see as he can't as he came in that's what they've been saying if you ever catch him coming in he's so wide open that he's going to fall apart and he did now here's where the referee's previous experience came in he let the other fight go on too long, and he almost stepped in to stop it. Holyfield with the barrage showing tremendous power. Tyson's legs are bad. The championship rounds, round 11. And now, here we go. Mike Tyson is a warrior, too, and he's going to have, he's still going to have that natural power. That's the last thing that'll go. Evander's got to be careful here to hold on, but he has fought a perfect fight. No matter what happens from here on in, we are looking at a sports legend in the purple trunks, Evander Holyfield. Holyfield continues to dig in. A left hook to the head. He's got Tyson in trouble. Tyson's ready to go. A straight right hand. The champion stops the fight, and Holyfield has won. I can't believe what I'm saying. It's the most unbelievable thing I've ever been privileged to witness. Mayhem. 